For several years, Red Bull Sound Select has been bringing artists into the spotlight, and they've even expanded to countries outside of the United States. Tonight at Baby's All Right in Williamsburg, NYC, we have Shabazz Palace's Doug Cream Blunt, as well as Finding Navion. And The Nocturnal TV got to sit down with Shabazz to find out a little bit more about their music industry career and what they'll be doing tonight at Baby's All Right. Yo, what's going on? This is Ish. This is Baba Maraire. And we're Shabazz Palaces. And you're watching The Nocturnal Television. Yep. Um, the name Shabazz Palaces, it was, it was really put together and inventive to invoke all of the images and symbols that come to mind when you think about those two words. So the history, the art, art of it, and, and the, and the so social meanings is what we wanted to bring out. So we put that, that together. How did you get your start? Um, as far as individually, uh, well, I, I got much, I don't remember not starting. I grew up doing music, so I couldn't really say what was happening when I was a young child and an adolescent. Um, what about you? you I got my start in middle school in jazz band with my uh, teacher learning saxophone. Where do your musical influences come from? I'll start with you. Um, my musical influences come from so much. Um, again, I was raised doing music, so I, re I don't really remember not playing it. Um, I'm self-taught on most everything I play. Um, but I'm just inspired by other musicians. I'm inspired by the world, by life. Um, it just depends on what you're doing, whether you're producing or writing, or, you know what I'm saying, collabing. Just everything becomes an inspiration. Um, and especially the older I've gotten, the more life has taken um, a heavier impact on everything I do. Um, I get my inspiration from um, really just trying to translate the rhythms of life socially and trying to make um, translate that into something musical. It's not just music that it makes me like to do music, different kinds of art form, and just even walking around and relating to people gets me inspired to make music. What do you want your legacy in hip hop to be? Start with you. Um, my legacy in hip hop, what do I want it to be? I never really think about that because um, I feel like your legacy, once you start trying to author it, you get sidetracked on really being essential, you know, your essence comes out when you're just using your instinct. When you're thinking about trying to like write your legacy, you start thinking about things you can't really control and that might get you off track. So I don't really think about that too much. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I feel the same way. Um, I also, uh, I don't look at it everything is from a hip-hop perspective, you know, just because I'm involved in so much, I look at it just from a musical perspective, so I never thought about that. So what does it mean for both of you to be in this Red Bull showcase today? I like Red, Red Bull um, showcases, sound selects, different events that Red Bull um, has been putting on over the years, I, I always enjoy them. They're always at cool locations and um, have cool bands. We've been the last band playing, we've been the first band playing. So they try to curate or let somebody that they like their style curate a, a nice event on a good night, put together groups from different um, places, different backgrounds, and it, it's a cool event. I really like participating in these Red Bull events. You meet a lot of cool people. And, it's usually a real good time. Yeah, very good taste. Um, I mean, I, I think just what Red Bull's doing as a whole is good. You know, musically, I've been to a studio in South Africa, done some stuff there, um, did some stuff here in New York. Um, and then I, I, I used to like their beat battles. I don't know if they still do them, but they used to do in Seattle, I really enjoyed seeing that. I think they just give good opportunities to individuals, again, and finding a way to, to, to take lesser known talent to the world. 
and put it together with more popular known talent. Um, and then the other thing, they did put us on our first billboard, so I do enjoy that. <laughs> Can you guys tell me what your favorite song is that you've worked on so far? Um, honestly, my favorite song I probably don't remember because we made it up. <laughs> but I was thinking about this song the other day. What do we call that? Saturday night. Are you ready? Do oh, dun, man. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, we got this joint. We always used to perform, but never oh, put it out. Man. It never make. It just doesn't make the cut. I was thinking about that the other day. Yeah, I remember that. It's ready to go. It just for some reason doesn't come out. But we make a lot of songs, and we just never. By the time the album comes, you want to write about something else. So that's the way it works.